Good evening, everybody. Um, it is July the 15th in the year of our Lord, 2024, and we're all waiting for him to return still. But we're one day closer. Uh, it, it seems like the rubber band can't be pulled any tighter, but it seems to be pulled tighter and tighter and tighter. Um, it has been, I don't know, uh, man, I don't know the last time it was on YouTube. I have been um, very busy teaching school, directing plays. Um, I don't want to bore you with a lot of stuff, but it's just been, it's been living, I've been living life and um, just keeping watch and, um, you know, this occupying until he comes gets, can, can be rather burdensome because you have to pay attention to what you're doing. I mean, you do have to pay attention to what you're doing while you're occupying. You know, you can't go sit on the roof in a white robe and um, do nothing. So I've had to kind of do that. But um, we still watch. I'm on here because I have a prayer request and I, I'm, I don't know who's gonna see this because I don't have a lot of subscribers and I'm hardly ever on. So, but I'm just, I just sort of felt, uh, I think it was after I was listening to Gary, um, he was sharing about, you know, how the Lord has, has um, healed him and provided a truck for his wife and um, just been, it was really encouraging to me. And I, I just felt like, well, I'll just get on here and ask for prayer as well. And, um, I'm just going to try to make this real short and ask if, if you see this, if you'll just share this prayer request with prayer warriors. Um, about seven years ago, we'd been overseas and we had to come back to the States suddenly. And it was a very unpleasant situation. And, um, the Lord had some things he needed to do, but, um, I don't want to go. That's not why I'm on here, but the point is, is that we had to start all over uh, as, you know, approaching our 60s. I'm, you know, my husband and I are in our 60s right now. And so we had to start all over again with nothing. And so we, while a lot of people our age are getting ready to retire or, you know, they're just... They, they're the ones that are, that are helping their kids and um, all that. We're sort of the other way around. We're, my husband is working a job that, um, I mean, he has a doctorate level degree and he was a teacher. But when we got back, the, it, it's a long story. Anyway, he's working at a grocery store and he's been there for seven years and he does a really good job but he's getting tired. He's really getting tired. And um, we have been praying for so much for something to open up for him that will be something he would love to do and something that um, he's just, you know, perfect for. And we have, you know, the Lord has blessed him with a good manager, a good boss. Um, but it's just getting really stressful for him and he's just so tired and he it's like that's all he does he goes to work he comes home and because he goes to work we have a weird schedule so we're not really out with people we don't he doesn't he can't go to church on sunday or really be with people that much because of his schedule and it's just it's just really hard and so um when he does look for something, nothing happens. I mean, people don't want people his age, you know? I mean, no matter how qualified they are or how well, you know, I mean, it's just the way it is. And so I am working one, two, three, four, four or five, you know, part-time jobs. Just little, they're contract, contractor. I teach online. I direct and teach uh, 
theater, which I love. I'm really glad for that. But, um, and I teach at a, I have two classes at a local Christian school, but I used to have more classes, but that's another story. Um, the way that everything has happened, I only can have two. So the point is, is that we are really struggling um, just to make ends meet. We don't have anything extra. There's no margin. And we're doing all we can, and we've been praying, and um, I keep just, you know, thinking, Lord, I want to trust you and all this. But I'm just asking for people out there. I don't know who's going to, like I said, I don't know who's going to see this, but please pray for us. We need a good vehicle. We have two very old vehicles, and we're, they, they run, but they both have had lots of work and need more work. And so now we have um, automobile repair uh, bills that we still are paying on. We do not have credit card debt that is for just for fun. It's just always like the basically is on car repair right now. And it's just, my husband is just getting really discouraged and... I don't know. I mean, I know the Lord is good. I know he's faithful and he is. I, I just, especially for my husband, he needs some real, um, I don't know. He just really needs to know in a tangible way. I'm just, I mean, I'm not going to tell God what to do, but this is what I would pray that the Lord will provide things like this, um, a good, a job that he can just thrive in um, and get paid for what he's worth, you know? And then we could have a vehicle and we can't afford car payments. Um, it, we live in an apartment. Um, I'm not trying to make a pity party either. I'm just telling you the way it is and I know there's a lot of people suffering too I know that we're but I just felt like that I needed to go on here and reach out to whoever hears this for a prayer for us um and especially for my husband for encouragement so that is all I had to say and um Maranatha, Jesus, please come back. <laughs>